Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round three of the Las Vegas Open here. Uh, today, I'm joined by my good friend, William Hagwood. Hello, everyone out there in internet land. Oh, man. I am totally muted. You, you are not. Yeah, I no. am. What? Look. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. I was I looking at the other if part. The, if they can hear me... They can hear you when we have this oh, set up. Oh, okay, okay. At, Fair at home, at home we have it split it. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead, and you're not muted, Will. <laughs> you're, fine. you're fine. All right. So we have Tyler Tippett versus Edward Yang. We're going to go ahead and break down these lists here in a second. But before we do that, you know, everybody, what time it is. It is time for you to... Get paid for the last game. I tried <laughs> to do this last time, and it just wouldn't do it. There it is. All right. So we played that out, and now it is time for you to choose your champion. Will, let's go ahead and break down these lists. But first, remember that today our rounds brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code LVO22 to get 22% off, exclamation point, CPC, to get the link. We've got some awesome new products at Curled Paw Creatives. And go ahead and check them out. We've got accessories for X-Wing, Legion, Armada, um, Wingspan, and so many other games. Wingspan. Check it out. Wingspan is yeah, something new I, he's got. And I'm, stuff I'm, looks I recently great. started playing Wingspans, and I'm in on that. It looks so good. So check check it out, curlpawcreatives.com. Let's break it down. All right, let's start with Tyler Tippett here. Uh, your reigning Adepticon champion. Uh, he is flying the Galactic Empire, rocking Darth Vader in the Defender. Uh, so not only does he have full throttle to get free evades on speed three to five maneuvers, he can use his force only on offense, but to, uh, is able to change a blank result to a hit. Uh, by spending uh, one or two force, you can easily get three hits very consistently on what's this defender it does have that white 4k as well uh, and tyler tippa is a very expen experienced darth vader defender flyer mm -hmm. he's been championing that uh darth vader defender is uh the best ship in the game certainly priced that way but uh -huh. uh, it, it's uh we're waiting to see it really excel in the highest levels of competition uh he has chosen this is always the biggest uh decision factor what, is, what do you put with him yeah exactly right so with the recent re reduction in darth vader's cost from 115 to 112 you can now sneak in the fourth academy pilot so no upgrades at all academy pilots i won uh three agility three hull two attack dice uh not the fanciest ships but uh it's vader and the boys exactly uh but they make excellent blockers they can take up space blocking still a thing right now uh without any bump rules uh, or range zero attacks the academy pilots still doing the job that they were uh, trained to do, which is get in the way, deny actions, and allow Darth Vader to get to that end game situation. You know, I've been thinking about the upcoming uh, blocking or bumping rules. Sure. And they're blocking people's K turns and sloops turn turnaround maneuvers will still have value oh, oh, course, because yeah. that red uh, that red action ain't gonna happen. Right, right. I mean, you're still opening yourself up to a range zero attack. True. Granted, it's heavily unmodified, but at the same time, though, that stress could be very impactful. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just you'll see less uh, less of these blockers do like bear rolls into blocks. Right. Yeah. They they kind of want their own defensive token if they're doing this kind of stuff. So be a, a lesson tyler is an old school imperial player too so he knows how to fly these tie fighters we get another road rule road roll Rat, road rule roll <laughs> <laughs> say that 10 times fast all right and which is going to be very important here because edward on the other side is flying the resistance with three different i1 blue squadron rookies two of them we have marked off as green and red uh, have BB Astor Max. Can you throw up the BB for us, Dion? BBs, let's go. 
No, wrong pilot. <laughs> there it is. No, what? That's that's the one without the BB. Try, actually, try again. <laughs> there it is. So the BB Astromech. Before you execute a blue maneuver, uh, which is going to be one banks, two banks, and one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, forward are all the blue maneuvers for the T-70. So anytime you reveal that maneuver, you can spend one of the two charges and perform a barrel roll action. What's great about that is that barrel rolls doesn't come standard for these X-Wings. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, looks like... That's okay. He's got a coordinator. He's got a coordinator. I mean, he he did just like, hey, you want to take a damage? All right, cool, 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 cool. cool. Okay, it's, it's, no. You know what? He's just giving he's, he's giving Tyler a handicap. That's all. Yeah, he's he's, he's baiting him in here. Uh, so uh, beyond the BB Astromech Blues, we also have Rose Tico. Give me that Rose Tico card, Leon. Rose. Yeah, just give me her and C-3PO. Perfect. So, Rose in the pond can get uh, re-rolls for every attack, or excuse me, every friendly in the attack arc. So, she's going to be behind these blues, use, utilizing them to get her own modifications. In addition to that, C-3PO, when you do the red coordinate, you can get a calculate action as well. So, she can double modify while coordinating a very, very powerful piece for the resistance. And rounding out the squad, I guess the ace of the list is Kazuda. I <laughs> think the, the ace? I, I mean, huh? it's true. He's in a fast ship called the Fireball. He's the best pilot in the galaxy. This is the subtitle. This, uh, this is true. If it's, <laughs> if it's on the internet, it must be true. That's 100%. So Kaz's got an interesting ability to where they can roll uh, basically a third dice on attack or a third dice on defense. Mm -hmm. Though the ship's enemy ship's initiative is higher than the number of damage cards you have. So with it R5, he healed the original cards you get with Explosion with Wings. Yep. So now his ability will work against oh. the I-1 Academies. Hold up. Vader is swinging in here. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a, he came he hungry. He's like, so so he's going to be in uh, Kaz's arc here. Going to be three on four shooting against Kaz. Kaz is a great uh, I-6, uh, what do I want to say? opponent, I guess. He's good against I-6s, is what I'm trying to say. Because he will never have six damage cards mm -hmm. on him. Yep. Uh, he will always get those extra dice against I-6s. That's right. So a nice tech against uh, these kind of... Someone like uh, Vader? Yeah, someone <laughs> like Vader. So he'll, yeah, he'll be getting so, that extra defense dice, extra attack dice. Um, so now, let's go over as well. Now, it the new obstacle rules as a note uh, you only skip your perform action step uh, when you overlap the obstacle mm, like we see your here. final position yep. exactly if you move through like your template or something and don't land directly on it you actually still get your action vader going in here for a boost trying to close the range seeing if he can get into that range one yeah, he, um, might he, be, he also might be looking at this right yep, he, i think he you didn't have to worry about green as it's on the rock and unable to fire but he may have arc dodged the red x-wing as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so just to he closed it it's range one Nice. So to clarify, uh, you only receive a one damage on a hit or crit result uh, when you hit the obstacle. Now he's gonna Vader for four, three hits and a crit into Kaz. You know he got rid of some of those uh, damage cards. Okay. Spend the focus. Ends up with one. It is a critical damage. Let's find out what it is. It is a direct hit. We're starting okay. immediately with two damage onto Kaz. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's big because he already spent one of his R5 charges. Uh, his ability effectively will never work against the academies now. Yep. Uh, see what his shot back is. Interesting Rose didn't coordinate anybody here. So we got the double tokens. One I, hit. Should be no there problem. Was, for there Darth was a Vader. question. Uh oh. Don't do that. No. Nope. <laughs> I went to go click something over here and we. we did. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, here we go. We got some shots back. This is, this is Rose. This is Rose. Hit crit into Vader. No problem. Uh, Vader spends the full throttle evade and safe. We get Cass coming up next. 
cash shot first. Oh, cash shot first. He missed. He's easy dodge. Let's see if they get those cash shots. Nope. And yep, Tyler confirming that he had gotten out of Red's arc there. So now, a classic defenders, Dion. <laughs> Do defender you, gonna defender. Do you tell what? Are you gonna 4K? Hard three or three bank here, Dion. 4K all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're looking no at question. here. Even if Rose, well, let's let's clean this up for one second. So you 4K. Wow, that went way awry. You 4K. Rose turns in, right? Even if she has you and Ark, little bear roll out of that. I immediately having that I6 advantage is gonna gonna be big. Um, Tyler's yes. positioning here with the or with the early aggression is gonna end up helping him out because Edward hasn't doesn't have a way to if he turns all his ships around right now. Let's say he takes those X wings and Talon rolls them towards where Vader's going in the corner. Sure. You got the tie swarm right behind you. Right. right. Uh, so you got you're gonna be you be stressed. Still eight dice. Right. Yeah. Eight attack dice. Right. Yep. You have eight eight attack dice. No modifiers. Uh, that doesn't sound and maybe potentially even range one depending on how fast those tie mm -hmm. fighters end up moving. Uh, yeah, you, you assume that the this one banks and this one, well, I guess you could bank this one too, and then, yeah, just bank everybody in. That, that, that lane should be wide enough. Now remember, the initiative roll is going to potentially end up mattering here, depending on what Edward's plan is. You got the TIE Fighters at initiative one, as well as those Blue Squadron rookies. So I think this road roll is going to is going to be consequential, for mm -hmm. sure. No, that's, that's why this is uh, quite the interesting matchup to see how each player uh, reacts to that kind of situation. Dion, what do you think about if this is, if this 4K is here, right? Because this was range one, probably 4K right here. Mm -hmm. Do you try to block that with a one turn? Too, yeah, hard one barrel roll. Is that too risky? It'd be a bold one. It's bold. But like, I mean, what else is Vader doing? One banking. One bank. You're 4K. You're 4K or one bank. One one bank and then 4K the round after. Okay. The the one the one bank is a if you, I guess if your opponent has a way to block the 4K, but not the one bank, uh, you do it. You have a spot where Kaz can be in both. Kaz might also just be playing the exit trajectory. It just depends on what the priority is for, uh, for Edward. Because even if you did the one hard barrel roll to block Vader, how are you going to capitalize on that? I don't. Outside of, I guess, not being shot for a turn. Uh, yeah, so that's what that's what my original thinking was, that if Rose doesn't turn in behind this rock at all, that hard three is going to be wide open for Vader. True and that. And once, once you're in behind, you don't need full throttle anymore. You don't shoot now. You only need evades when people are shooting at you, Dion. <laughs> all right, we got the eyeball. So Tyler's going to keep it here. Tyler's the first player. Let's see. I mean, it seems like that's... I think that works out for him. Yeah, but it might be too far away for it to start to matter right now. So coming in with those three banks. Are we going to be three banking all around? He sure is. Just keeping that swarm together. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder where those nubs are on this green. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he can bank out of there. And uh, we got B, either, he's got a BB astromech, right? Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah. You're right. If he, if he wants it, it doesn't look like he wants it, but he could. Uh, okay. That looks like that overlaps. Yep. Okay. That's that's going to be an additional damage right now on green. I'm not sure why you're risking the. Risking the potential double damage there when you have the BB Astromech. And takes another one. Edward has unfortunately given up all of his shields for free. Free oh, shields still, still available here at GSP. Uh, Tyler reminded him once again that so as we saw, Shipper will suffer a damage automatically on an asteroid, rolls a hit or rolls for a hit or crit to suffer an additional damage. You no longer receive crits on any obstacle. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but if you move through it and not overlap it, you can perform your action. So it's give and take, right? Oh yeah. It's, uh, I mean, depends on what you're, if you think an action's more valuable than health, Maybe on an interceptor, your health's probably it more it valuable. Depends. <laughs> it, it also depends on how much you gave up. You just gave up three three shields, shields for a yeah. focus token, which you could have also had that focus token and not not yeah. Yeah, not taking that damage. Yeah, B, so. BB, three forward. Yeah. So in, in this case, uh, I think the obstacles are winning, is my, is my point. Obstacles have won uh, so obstacles far. Obstacles have won so far. Okay, we're going to see if they, we get a coordinate here. I wonder if we're going to coordinate Kaz before he maybe Talon rolls or something. Could be. There is the nice, calculate and the stress. Nice little Talon roll. It seems like Edward is prioritizing the TIE Swarm. If he can clear them off the table and have all three of his tie, uh, all three of his X-Wings left and Vader, you uh, you have a good shot. With, uh, with defenders in general, you want to have, uh, obviously, the more ships, the better, but you sure. want to be able to cover you basically... At yeah. least two, obviously. You can't go one-on-one -on -one with Right. Me. You got to cover the 4K, and you got to cover the three hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you got an additional ship, you start covering the one bank. Okay. So Rose is going to coordinate green a lock there. Okay. So bouncing off the rock, you know what? I think it, it's a it's a mentality thing. Listen, you, you've taken so much damage, it's time to Just give... It's time to give some Clear away. a ship out. Yeah. There's the roll. There's a talent roll. Interesting. Okay. So it could be a chance for a cast to get behind Vader. Let's see if he just did the 4K or not. Yeah, he did. He might be able to boost out of arc. Or boost into sharing sharing an arc. Get your hands out of there, Tyler. I'm trying to draw. <laughs> so like boost. You could bank, bank boost to the right. Or barrel and just keep shooting cast. Uh that that might be a good <laughs> That might be a good one. He's got all three fours. Yeah. Just just take the just take the good shot. I mean, because maneuverability wise, Kaz is uh, redonkulous. Yeah, very good blocker. Uh, I've I've come to realize that fireballs with that slam and or bear roll, mm -hmm. super good blockers. Um, so Kaz is just gonna have to eat another uh, four dice attack here. And yep, drops force, two force Vader. So good. That's another full string. Three hits and a crit. And hey, Kaz Natty, baby. Let's get some natties in the chat. Still takes a crit, right, though. Let's see what that crit is. Looks like fuel leak. So that's okay. Is that a fuel leak? They're not. They're busy. They dropped a, they dropped a charge. I believe it was a fuel leak. All right, Cass shooting back here. Two hits. Vader's got the evade. Don't need it. All right, so now to Rose. Rose to get a cheap shot here to try to strip the focus off of yellow. Has two, possibly three ships. Doesn't really need the third. Uh, yeah, drops the calculator. Spend it. There you go. R Rose the destroyer. Do it, Do it Rose. Hey, you can't fight Vader. Do what you can. Well. Yep. <laughs> Do what you Put can. out some offense for sure. All right, okay. that's probably going to be one. I don't think Tyler's going to be willing to spend the focus. <laughs> well, it's, we, well, it's a, they're all initiative one, so yeah. All right, yeah, so that's going to be on yellow. See, try to see if you can save it for offense because you're up first here, going to go into green. Yep. Another shot, range one into yellow. Hit crit this time. Uh, yeah, I mean, you kind of have to there. All right, a good round of green dice for Edward. He needed it after, uh, after that some first. punishing maneuvers. Next TIE Fighter going into that green tie, into that green X-Wing. Two hits, okay. blank oh. and a focus. That's going to be two more damage for that X-Wing. Points on the board. Two more left and two shots. I uh, don't think the, the green X-Wing can take any more. Here we go. Range one from the uh, the pink tie fighter. Hit hit crit. After that roll, double focus. That is a focus that is expended there to take only one on the red. And we should have one more shot coming in from the unmarked tie fighter. Range one possibility. 
Very close. Trying to measure the corner of the cardboard arc to the uh, closest point. Tyler trying to make some room here, see if it can wiggle through, and looks like it's going to be... No, that's so close. That's not... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is a judge standing right there who yeah. could possibly help, but... He would not intervene unless uh, unless they ask. We'll find out. We'll know what the what the decision is by how many dice. And it's range one. Spend for hit crit. Sure does. Edward, aggressive roll. And that's going to be both hit crit going through there. That shields down on that red X-wing. Yeah, interesting uh, philosophy here. Would you rather defend first with focuses or attack first? I'm an aggressive player. I want to. I want to. I want to attack. You'd rather first. see your red dice first and see I, if you need them. I would. Okay. Okay. Make that call along the way. First couple shots with, then I just don't spend it on the other ones. I know that it makes so, some of the targets. Yeah. Pink. Pink spin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's that's yellow's uh, focus should be. Saved it for defense, then didn't need it on offense. And one hit to start it out. Squiggles looks like these Tie Fighters. This is a, this, this is that Coruscant Academy. Checking range one, sure is. Cross that big focus token. Unfortunately, the the double blinks came on the one that still had the focus token. Still only one hit. Got it. All right, this guy's got a target locked though. Next shot, and that's hey, better. There we go. Two there hits go. and a crit. Okay. Add another one. Still pretty good. And, and that's going to be three damage. That's one of our TIE Fighters down. A structural damage as well. Looks like yellow clears the table. Yep, so half on Kaz there and half on green uh, for one Academy. 42 to 22. All right, Dion, so now... Now, that's when the road is spicy. Because mm -hmm. you can't... <laughs> you can't uh, guarantee... Thank you, Tyler, for clearing the dice box. You cannot guarantee where your turnaround maneuvers are going to fit. Mm -hmm. I mean, assuming Pink's got it. Pink's got, Pink's got one. Real good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but these X-Wings... I mean, do you do you have BBs? Do you just go out and back in? Get get some room for sure. And you know, there there's some debate as to what is the correct strategy versus this list. Um, you know, Vader is the honk of the points, right? So the question is, the time that you spend taking out the academy pilots can. Can, can you win the damage race of Vader picking off what would end up being you could lose four TIE Fighters, right? So 44, 88 points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can Tyler get more than more or less than 28 points in the time that you kill those four, four, 88 points in the time that you get those four TIE Fighters? It's a bit of a race. You got to decide whether it's a better call to go after Vader or go after the TIE Fighters. And I do think it's dependent on your list, what sure, that's going to be. Right, right. Because uh, basically, your strategy cannot include uh, a situation where you go one on one with Darth Vader. Um, oh yeah, maybe, that, that's a losing battle. Maybe if you're like Jango or Han, you could maybe pull it off, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but beyond those two, because uh, like, man, any I five really would struggle then too, right? Yep. So have to make those decisions earlier than later uh, one thing can you check on uh, Kaz's dial I believe it's one banks and one two forward yep mm -hmm. so it's checking on those stress clearing maneuvers of course could keep the stress there uh, if you wanted to but uh, I mean just 4k right Boost back in and 4K, just kill, everything's kill Kaz, okay. Right? 
this is the situation is that Tyler was able to pull Kaz out of that opening joust mm -hmm. and try getting him to fight him one on one. A couple of folks asking how many row, how many uh, rounds today? We'll have another five round day, so we got two more after this one. And then tomorrow we'll have another five rounds. So a total of 15 rounds of X-Wing nice. this weekend coming from you to... No, it's not to you from... <laughs> sorry. We, we didn't get too much sleep last night <laughs> from Las Vegas. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, the city never sleeps, Dion. That's right. I promise I'll get... Wait, is that New York? No, I think... No, yeah, that is New York. Okay. That is well, New York. whatever. They don't sleep around here. Uh, I just want to shout out Jules as well. Uh, 35 months. So close to that three-year badge. Woo -woo. Appreciate it. Uh, all the support. Everybody subscribing. Uh, Lambolo and Kelliana. They, they uh, fight. Dropping, they dropping fight. huge support for us. Uh, just allowing us to give away these uh, gifts to everybody watching. Uh, we very much appreciate all the support that's right i mean so uh, l let's let's talk some some real real world stuff right so um your guys support is the reason why we can even do this right so it paid what is it paid for we paid for our hotels uh the flights, flights for will and i we bought new equipment on the way we here did. uh not on the way here but for this <laughs> right. event right. Uh, those, this those e oh man these wireless routers made set up a breeze so it it, it life extremely easy and for, for that convenience it's expensive right like sure, that's just how that course. works it's an investment um and now now that they're working as well as they are um uh, what we could end up doing which we tried to set up at, at our gspn and it just didn't work as well because mm -hmm. i've always wanted a camera that's on the move Oh, and okay. I think with with another set of those, which I think we can probably afford now, you've got to pay the bills, but I think I think we can do it. Um, I think we can possibly get a uh, a mobile cam, really, a, okay. a, a cam uh, a cam that would would be battery powered, sure, uh, and we'd be able to bring one of those wireless like kits around, uh, and yeah, that's, it, that that is true. One of Everybody watching at home, the thing we, we unfortunately really can't give you is that like the the sh the the sh visual of all of the tables playing together. Yeah. The, the conference hall, and uh, you know, especially well, we we do it on tabletop simulator, right? Where it's like, well, okay. this was a half hour game. Let's try to find a different one. Yeah. In in real life, that's an impossible. Yeah, uh, but if, situation. We, if we have that third camera set up, we literally could, we just have it charging and ready to go. We just pull it out, slap mm -hmm. it on a on a mobile tripod, and just just go. Yeah. It won't have all the fancy stuff that we normally have, but it's no. better than just having nothing. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So yeah, always always something to look forward to. Always innovating. Yes. All right. I believe Tyler marked that off in the middle of the ship, mm -hmm. as you should. Always mark it off. Always in the mark it off in the middle. It's the, the, sa the safest way. Uh, when I mark it off, I try to announce like verbally mm -hmm. to my opponent that uh, I'm going to mark this mark off on the off back. Side. So that way, at least it's uh, like I said, announced here. So actually, the all those K turns did fit. We got Talon Ooh. roll, K turn, Talon roll. Beautiful there. Flipping and ripping, baby. Let's go. I think the TIE Fighters are following mm -hmm. suit or are they just hitting the gas? No, no. That, no, one, had to clear, that one had to clear K turn before road. Uh, so it's the other ones who are going to risk you. We'll see a focus token here already. So that one's good to go with a, just a two forward. Yeah, when in doubt, two forward. <laughs> See what Roe does, you know. Uh, but this is actually a pretty good block if Rose goes forward. And I think that's what he's debating. If he bear rolls out, he might be able to arc dot here mm -hmm. and here. And then block that one bank from Rose as well. Mm-hmm. Nice. 
And if roses go straight, well, York dodged her. Yep, easy peasy, baby. Uh, the the academies are very much a resource, an expendable resource, <laughs> but a resource nonetheless. So the expendables. Any, yeah, perfect. And just able to get the block there. Now Rose will still have uh, two rerolls from this arc, right? Get some friendlies there. Yeah, d defensive then, defensive rerolls. And then should have a friendly right there as well. How about her attack arc? Yeah, should still have this she, guy. She should have at least one. Yeah. One offensive reroll. Oh, so good. Just a little pod, but man, can really pack in some modifications. All right, Cash choosing to clear the stress with a two forward. I wonder if he's going to slam. slam. Ooh, but he took a direct hit earlier. Do you really want to chance the exposure of the direct hit? Well, you, you can slam without trying. With True. The, just keep, keep the weapons disabled and don't even worry about it. Yeah, Vader. He likes this little area over here. He likes playing with Kaz, so he's going to stay. <laughs> Kaz took the squiggle. Well, I would expect the evade boost right here. Lock. Ain't nobody shooting at you. I mean, evade off of the full throttle and then boost oh, sure. for the for range two. Range two, yeah. Maybe one. I feel like in the top of the map, I can judge ranges. But at the bottom of the map, I feel like everything's skewered. Boom, you know? right there. Range skewed. one. Skewed. Well, I'll, I'll handle the ones closer to the camera. You got the ones farther. All right, here we go. Three hits. <laughs> Four, excuse me, with Vader. And another set of natties. Ooh, chaos. <laughs> Unstoppable here. Takes one damage. Takes one. Vader, you can get three all day, but a cat's kid's getting three evades all the time. It's going to be an uphill battle. All right, let's go ahead and take that damage down to two. Haven't cleared him off the board yet. Here's a two hits. I think this is Edward firing with Rose. Mm -hmm. Has the reroll, exactly. Got yep. him, three hits. Spends a focus, one okay. damage. This is going into the green TIE Fighter. Mm -hmm. That's good, keeps it, uh, keeps it off of the offense there uh, for the modification. Green did slip out of there for now. Should have a couple free rounds of fire. This is going to be, I think, a range one here for the green oh, yeah. X-Wing. No problem. Green on green action. Oh, uh, yeah, but uh, no modifications here. Just huck and dice. Two hits. That means that you were looking for that average. So that's fine. And one more. still takes one. He's giving up half, but still living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have no other shots on him here. We'll do some focus fire onto pink in the corner from the remaining X-Wings. It's approximately range three. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. This will be three attack dice coming in. A hit, okay. crit, focus. That's a good roll. And ah, there it is. No there problem. it is. We're warming up a little bit for Tyler. It's like, hey, I got some no too. Problem. I get some too. And another shot. Hit, double, focus. And takes another damage here. That's going on to the pink TIE Fighter. Uh, Dom, these are uh, both undefeated players. Figured we'd do one more top table before we jump into the bubble matches. One hit, double focus here. We have 600 people watching X-Wing around the world. Thank you so much for tuning in. And there you go. There's a hit for the TIE Fighter. And that's going into the red one. Mm -hmm. So that means we have half points scored there. 63-33 right now in favor of the Empire. And we are going back to Dials. All right. So for those of you who, uh, who are at home, we have, like we said, we have two more rounds left today. Uh, has anybody watched all eight of the games? Anybody Anybody eight of eight right now? We got any eight of eighters? 
I got target locks saying thanks for the high class streaming. Or sorry, thanks for the streaming high class as always. We try. We try to keep it classy. Yeah, we are. We do. Uh, we like the professionalism, you know. Uh, while uh, you know some of the uh, what do I want to say uh, less censored. I don't know. Would you even consider us censored? But I, I think we're just family friendly. Fra uh, there we go. That's, that's that's the way to put it. Yeah. The, the consciously, we're consciously family friendly. Ah, uh, there. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Uh, those that are uh, less family friendly. Um, are very much fun. We we do like to, uh, you know, want to reach out to those families, people, you know, watching with their kids, mm -hmm. right? setting a good example for X Wing communities in the yeah. future. Especially I, if you go wanna, to a local game store, right? There, there's yeah. probably children around. Not exactly. a great example. Like my, what I envision to be the best is like people playing an X Wing tournament, and if we're streaming, maybe they have it on in the background or something like oh, that. Oh sure, yeah. And uh, you know it wouldn't offend a, a game store owner to do that. And then right, on, and, right. on, and on top of that, for me, it's like I, if my daughter wants to listen to the stream, I should be fine. My five-year-old should right. should be able to listen to her father, do his work. That's kind of the way. That's the way I look at it. That makes a lot of sense. So, but yeah, that's you know created this kind of uh, professionalism we we strive for. Of course, it is a bunch of hard work. But you know, I I think it's been paying off. Um, it's actually all the all the what do I say preparation effort really uh -huh. uh, has made it uh, easy. You know, my uh, my wife got me this sticker the other day. She goes, uh, "the the dream is free, the hustle is extra." <laughs> <laughs> that is right. That is right. Gambler Tuba says, I've been here for every round. I won't be here tomorrow as well. Thanks, COVID, question mark. Oh, that's right. That's right. I hope you're feeling better, Gambler mm -hmm. Tuba. All right. Love you too, District Foundry. Exclamation point DF. Check them out. All right. And also a reminder, uh, as these players are in, in an intense uh, planning phase right now. Coming up, I'm so excited for the Adepticon Grand Championship oh, put yes. on by Gold Squadron. It's actually called the Gold Squadron Grand Championship. Ooh, actually. Yeah. Hey, it's ours. It's at Adepticon 2022. <laughs> and I want to see as many of y'all there as possible. Of course, we're going to be streaming it live. Uh, but here we go. Let's let's find out who ends up being first player. It looks Ooh. like Edward's going to be first player here. He's got the tiebreaker. If you're not now, if you're not familiar, you've been doing, doing a lot of road in this game. Uh, the symbol importance goes crit, eyeball, then hit. So yep. there we saw the hit was the tiebreaker for the two eyeballs uh, to determine the the uh, first player. All right, here we go. Keeping it simple. One straight going into or looking at that pink TIE Fighter. That pink TIE Fighter is stressed from the K turn last turn. One banking as well. Looks like uh, that th the pink TIE Fighter has taken one damage already. Mm -hmm. It might be the primary target uh, for Edward trying to clear it off the board. And Kaz has been doing a good job of uh, <laughs> sure of, of, hol of holding his own against Vader. Someone, buying, someone was buying some time. Out, uh, he is eight for nine natties right now. That's all you got to do, man. That's all you gotta do. Dark, Dark Lord of the Sith coming after you. Just roll some natties. There's nothing he can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, get into range one, I guess. Don't let him get into range one. <laughs> uh, how is Vader's force doing? I know he's been using a lot of it. Is he? I think he's just one force down now. Mm, yeah, yeah, one yeah just down. one. One. Haven't depleted. seen him drop all three yet. For anybody looking for the difference on those tokens, if, uh, if you can't see the difference, the contrast between the purple and the red, on the edges, uh, the depleted side doesn't have the circle on the outside of the force symbol. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Oh, is this TIE Fighter going to make it? Nice. Right there. Range one looking at the back <laughs> of that X when he said, hey, huh? look doing? at that rear mirror. Yeah, I believe that X-Wing boosted through that gap as well. Mm -hmm. Three forward, clear the stress, boost through. Try to pin down Vader here, at least get him to uh, shake and bake, you know. 
Um, which uh, Edward has been doing a great Shake job. Back, baby. You do. You do not <laughs> want Vader just out there, just like taking target locks. You know you're in a bad position when Vader's. When like, Vader can just freely take target <laughs> locks for sure. That's yeah, a bad day. Not a good sign. So it looks like Pink here is going to get blocked. Uh, yeah, we're going to little choo-choo train. So what Tyler is doing here is because that maneuver was a two forward. Oh, he must have put three forward on there. That was three. Okay, never mind. Uh, if you've been watching only tabletop simulator streams uh, and live backswing is something new to you, uh, you can really pick up some tricks. We see the sideways uh, hard turn here from Rose. Uh, another great way to move your ships. Uh, we should without, do a quick. We should do a quick tips on that one. We're. I think we're so going to now. Now that we're we're getting back into in person play, got a lot of people watching live X Wing for the first time, mm -hmm. just, or in just, person. Excuse me, in person yes. X Wing. It's, I mean, it's always live. It's always it's normally live. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell them the secrets. We're actually <laughs> always. It's always pre recorded. Oh jeez, it's all a simulation deal. Yep. I will tell you, I have. There was there was one week where Devin was like, "Have you ever thought about just like putting on old games and seeing if anybody notices?" And I've gone. Yes. They would notice. <laughs> I think they would notice because of the chat. We interact too much with the chat. We'd have yeah. to wean them off of paying attention to them. <laughs> like wean them off and That's uh, true, that's true. And just go from there. No, that's the best part about uh, doing these live events is I mean it it's one thing if it was just me and you, which would be fun. Yeah. Right. But uh, being joined by over six hundred viewers, getting that feedback. Uh, you know, showing the greater community, you know, how much uh, interest there still is in X-Wing. So, really enjoy having everybody here. Let's see, Kaz, going to hard one. Are you going to try to bear roll? Vader, now, because Vader boosted, uh -huh. he can't 4K anymore. That's true, yeah, you don't, you don't got the space. Enable the three hard. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a one bank for three hearts. Right? It's it's pro probably with the distancing, you probably need the one bank to get a shot at range one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, which so is, is, that, is that a barrel roll then to block that? I think he, that's what he might be looking at. That T70 is licking his lips. Because if you, yeah, if you barrel roll backwards <laughs> right here, right, more or less, you might be able to catch Vader in the arc. Yeah, there it is. Barrel roll. Man, one good four dice attack on Vader flips this whole That's game, right. right? All right, here we go. And it was the three, and Vader might get past. Here we go, a little side-to-side no, -side no, method. Not, not, when you, not when you line up in the middle. It's not a talent roll. Oh, the Tukas. There you go. He's Uses using the, the other bank. Base. There you go. It's the base of a dead TIE fighter. Yep. Tyler Tippett pulling out all of the tricks. He's trying, he's trying. So that's not going to make it. We're going to go ahead and mark Kaz out of the way. Place that on top. A uh, couple, of, couple of pro tips for people who are marking things. Um, make sure that you keep your hand on that mark. We talked about making mm -hmm. sure knowing what side you've marked it on, which way was it facing. And when you're putting temp other templates on top, make sure to hold hold the templates independently um, mm -hmm. I know I have accidentally by trying to hold the template that's like on top of another one oh, sure. and it like the bottom one slips and it just it creates some awkward situations especially in competitive play at the game store I'll be like hey man put the ship wherever you want I don't care <laughs> right and then we just we just play on it it's not a big right, deal but in a tournament for sure yeah in casual play just move the ship right but yep. like uh, there is an uh Requirement of precision. There is in a competitive environment. Where was the game I played? I played it recently, where I just like picked up a ship and put it down. I think that was at the Pastime Store Championship. I did that. Oh. Like, it was the first time playing back in person. Just to even put a template. I just like picked it up and right I was like, I was like oh. <laughs> I mean, I was right. I was <laughs> right exactly where it was. Exactly where it goes. <laughs> but yeah, maybe use some templates. Yeah. That's like some next level stuff. <laughs> like not even using templates. Wow. I had been playing hey, the template game. Hey, hit hit two, crit Nettie's. coming in here for Edward. Oh, three pop, shields pop. down. Vader. Woo! That's what we're talking about here. Excellent. This is block. unacceptable. 
Excellent block from Kaz there. So still got one shield on Vader. Hey, that's a one that's away a from huge. half. Huge. <laughs> you tell me only one more damage for 61 points. I'm the best pilot in the galaxy. Best pilot in the galaxy. <laughs> hit, hit, crit. Blocked a dark score to the Sith. <laughs> Should have seen it coming. Yeah. And that's going to be a council fire for Ooh. the uh, the generic TIE fighter. Yeah, Edward is engaging here his I-1s currently. Uh, so that council fire will trigger uh, when Tyler activates his. Edward taking Ooh. another swing at these TIE fighters. Okay. That's a string of four. Two more damage in. Takes then. two, and that is going to be uh, enough to take out the green TIE fighter. Now, the, the, the clock is starting to tick down here for Tyler. He's one shield away from uh, from Vader. He lost another TIE Fighter. Tyler's coming back here with a three dice attack from this TIE Fighter. There is a blank, excuse me, a focus out there. It, the red X-Wing is going to be down to two hole. Okay. Yep. And then, so that was this shot going this way. This is this shot going this way now. Two hits. One of it. Green survives the round. Console fire. Because why not? He was already dead, but, you know. Game state. That's right. Oh, wait. Does that kill both? No, it's only, it's only the... Uh, sorry, the pink was not dead. It was green who died. All right. Uh, we got one more academy here. Pip Nothing. Whiffs. Spent and Vader the, uh, didn't have a shot. Right, yeah. That that academy spent his focus uh, on defense against Kaz. So, no modifiers there. So, uh, score right now, 63 to 44. One shield off of Vader f completely flips this, uh, this score in Edward's favor. The question is, can Tyler hold on to that single shield? Where, where do you think uh, that defender's going? Because you got, you got this red X-Wing. And the green one next to it, yep. heading into that corner as well. Yeah, they, these are the prime targets. Both of them at two hull remaining, uh, as long with Kaz. So Vader can just start, <laughs> the, someone's called it, the patented hexiled one shot. <laughs> uh, which is an inside joke, Dion. Don't, don't worry about I, it. I literally, it, the, pa <laughs> the patent. One uh, shot has been around. Yeah. No, no. It, the, the joke, the joke is that you killed it in one shot, but most ships only get one shot, anyways. Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry about it, Dion. It's, it's dumb. So I, I, yeah, I, I wasn't there for the moment. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I it's wasn't a running, there. It's a running joke, but regardless, we are moving in here. So. I mean, as always, we're looking at Vader's dial potential here. Uh, you got hard three or 4K or one bank, right? I mean, what mm -hmm. else are you doing? Maybe maybe three bank boost to get like a hard four, basically. Try to go find red to initiative kill him. Um, but we have to assume that... We have to assume that this guy is turning around. I don't think... I assume that this is range 2 up here. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he's got the 4K, if that makes sense. I love this illustrator, but I am always worried that my random drawings will end up looking like something inappropriate, Dion. <laughs> Draw squares instead of circles. I'm going to have to start, but you know, still, you know what's so much easier? Draw in a quick circle. True. One of the living TIE Fighters has two damage. I think it's white. Took the console fire. Uh, yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's white. white. Sorry yeah. about that. White's the one with the console fire. Click. 63-55 updated score. Thank you, chat. Our produ our, uh, our our hundreds of background producers. <laughs> I know we we got spoiled with uh, the online events where we can have people help from all over the world. This is true. We have people help from all over the world, but also uh, the ability to touch every single card without the players realizing. It. <laughs> exactly. Right, and just be like completely zoomed in on it. It's all right. 
We we got it. We got to get used to it. All right. Just checking in what Flipster Flipster was talking about here. All the uh, love to Flipster and the whole community working on the tabletop simulator mod of X-Wing. Uh, all the love has been a labor of passion for those guys. And uh, man, the results are astounding. Maybe. Mute, mute, mute it for a second. Be right back, guys. Give us a second.
All right, everybody, we are back here, just taking care of some, uh, some issues. No big deal, though. Uh, speaking of issues, though, that's a blocked 4K. That's Vader. right. Sad, oh, Vader. No. Uh, that's going to force him to hard one or hard two here to stay on the board. That's right. That that T seventy X wing is in the in the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is definitely one of the, one of those spots. Vader's like, can we can we get that focus now? <laughs> Do you think maybe we could? <laughs> oh yeah, because this this shot right here. Yeah. He he's got he's got some big shots coming in. Remember that force cannot be used defensively for uh, for the Darth Vader defender. That is part of the ability. Go right there. You cannot uh, spend force except while attacking. All right. All right, we're gonna check in the arc there. D looking dapper in the coat, by the way. Two hits. And that's two of eights. Hit focus, blank. All right, waiting for our next attack to come in. And there's a range three shot from the green TIE fighter into Darth Vader from downtown. Hit crit, got two. No defensive tokens out on Vader, so. And Tyler Ooh, takes that off. last shield. That is half points, point swing, 63-111. Oh, hot fire. Oh my goodness. Uh, dead? One, two, three. Invaders taken. Oh off my the goodness. Board. Oh. oh, these people are still in the past. They don't know what's coming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that stream delay. All right. Well, with that big roll there, uh, Tyler Tippett, I think. He he's lost his. This list is Darth Vader and the boys, right? right. Like it's it's built Stop around the boys and Darth Vader. Right, exactly. And honest, honestly, one of the things that that hurt Tyler is Kaz two turns in a row natty threes, and made it so that he made it so that it took extra time. Of, uh, of getting him off the board, right? Like he, he was trying trying to pursue it. Uh, I think Tyler expected to take uh, uh, less turns, about two less turns, to try to get Darth Vader, uh, uh, excuse me, to get Kaz off the board. Mm -hmm. And if he had done it earlier, he would not have been in the corner. What happened is he got trapped right. in that he got corner. Got distracted by Kaz. That's right. Once he couldn't kill Kaz, Kaz got that uh, beautiful block on him. Yep. Man. Just the little things. I mean, to me, to me, it was that when he 4K'd the second time, right, and he boosted back in to get into a range two or range one potentially, uh -huh. right. Uh, but that just limited his maneuvers to try to turn to back, get back in. in. That corner, the, the, the corners of the board can absolutely decimate you. Yeah. So our time is uh, is with the uh, with the tournament. Mm -hmm. It's one of the few rounds we're actually. It's the lunch uh, break round. It's yeah. the lunch break round. We can uh, we can link it up. Dark Weeds says never 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 concede never surrender never give up. 
band corners corners op. <laughs> hey, listen, we we played around Matt. We, we played around, around Matt. Matt a little bit. It's weird. It was weird. Because the angle of the circle is not consistently 45, so like no, flying so, next to it's so goofy. It's so funky. Less straight maneuvers. I kind of want to do uh, at Adepticon a uh, some type of round table um, side side game. Okay. Uh, okay. But I'd, ha I'd have to go and, and get somebody to make us around around uh, around Matt, obviously, and uh, sure. and go and go from there. And it would be only like one rotating at a time with some type of challenge. I'll think about it. Would you that guys be, would you guys play a, a side? What, what 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 am I trying to trying to say? Not side game. Uh, Event. Uh, no. What's the word? Pod. A pod. Mm, a pod. Okay. Yeah. How about Aerodome, Dion? Okay. Uh, we do know uh, Wage is supposed to be showing off his Aerodome game he's been working on for the last couple of years. That's right. Excited to see it. Let's go. Yeah, Wade, we got to have our console on the, 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 the music. It's supposed to be writing mu some music for Aerodome, writing some music for... Uh, I don't want to misquote... Uh, Ryan's game I think it's shattered something but I don't remember you know what I'm just gonna yell at him ask him Ryan Farmer. Well, too much drama going on over there <laughs> sorry a completely unimportant and unrelated question what's the name of your game Encounters? Sorry. What? What's the name of your game? The game of my board game? Yeah. Uh, encounters Shattered Wastes. Shattered yeah, Wastes. I remember Shattered. Encounters. Yeah, that's what it was. Shattered Colon. Yeah. Shattered Wastes. Yeah. Nice. I'll send you a teaser trailer. Ooh. Uh, I, need, I need something to start working on music, bro. I know. I'll send you something. Encounters. Shattered, shattered Wastes. Wastes. Shattered Wastes. Yeah, all I can remember that is from the... Uh, it's like the Arithmomancer or something, like the somebody who uses math as magic. <laughs> really fun, really fun. All right, it's cleanup time. And Edward, uh, I mean, with Kaz mm -hmm. just rolling hot, hot greens there, uh, and the green. Uh, the green and red T70 being able to kind of rotate in and out of the TIE Fighters Fire Narcs. We still have every single ship for the resistance on the board. Tell you, man, I I've been saying it since the onset of second of second edition that that extra shield on the T70s is money. It just make I know that none of them are at one hole, sure, sure. but like you have those moments where you got you get that one. You get that you, one you, extra crit block, you know, the yeah, small often, things. Often do you, you know, you blank out on hit, hit, crit, right? Yep. Coming in all the time. Uh, but also, uh, the keeping the three attack dice when you boost, I think, is really what sets it apart. All right, Rose. What you doing here? You gonna coordinate? It's following her heart. There's a coordinate. Calculate comes from the C3PO crew card. Focus. TIE Fighter going to go ahead and uh, get marked here so that Kaz can move. You know, since we do have, we have Wade Pache in the, uh, in the house. Shout out to him for uh, hooking us up with that beautiful, beautiful work on the Alphabet Squadron. Uh, Alphabet Squadron, Shadow Squadron, and Pursuit Squadron. We got another one coming your way as well. 
We've put put the plan into action to do all seven factions. Things have come out sweet. All right. Good to have you, Lambolo. Hope to see you tomorrow. All right, dash cam. Oh yes, yes, I turned it off because I didn't remove it. That's why I never turn it off. I know. Never it, turn it, it off. I know it, it's. I'd rather just leave it there and let them complain about it because they'll <laughs> complain more that we missed the dice roll. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, Lambolo, have a great night, my friend. Ooh, do we have faction numbers? Um, we we uh, I don't think we do. I know somebody had a, a link out there with some lists. Spence for one, safe. Pipe cleaners are our are, are money, man. I do prefer my curled paw creative colored markers. Safe. But you know, in a pinch, we do what we gotta do. Improvise, overcome, adapt, Dion. That's right. Hit crit coming in, Edward with the re-roll, and is there a focus out there? Nope. I don't believe so. That's going to be a couple more damage going into that TIE Fighter, and it looks like white is gone. It's just the pink TIE Fighter. All right, never give up, never surrender, says Tyler here. Ty Tyler's going all the way. Going for a uh, moral victory here. Just trying to take a ship off the board. Currently prepping pipe cleaners for markers for a game tonight. I'm telling you, we're, gonna, we're starting a new trend. Uh, yeah, they're nice. It, uh, I wrapped it around my pinky. It was the, the secret. You use like a pencil or something as well uh, to get okay. them real tight. My first couple of attempts were very big about the size of the too, base too chunky yeah yeah i thought they would interfere with uh arc checks and stuff right yeah Ch chase baffle it was chase's idea let let, let the internet <laughs> know chase baffle Not was the brain father of the pipe cleaner markers no it, it worked out perfect and like we were here and they just showed they were just here when we showed up they were just <laughs> sitting i was like oh all right, Those somebody went and got us. us, got us some pipe cleaners. All right, here we go. Hit crit on the other side. It was a focus, and Tyler's going to be the first player again. This little tie fighter just swooping in. Oh, a little talent roll here. And Rock? No. Safe. Gap like that slide forward here so the, the stress clearing maneuver can go around the rock next mm -hmm. turn. Give yourself some space. Red saving points, goodbye. <laughs> And X-Wing on an exit trajectory, four forward boost. That red X-Wing sitting at two hull. And three hard out there, just trying to avoid that TIE Fighter, just like not taking shots. And seeing if the white X-Wing, the unmarked one, can just, uh, just clean it up here. And there's going to be uh, quite a payout, Will, on on this game. I bet. What, what, what would the bets it, it, end up It was a 70-30 split. Absolutely massive. 70-30 split. And there, how many points are, are up for grabs here? We got a million. A million points to spread out Woo, between, 43. between the 43 people. Congrats. GSP Rich? Hello. Telling you. 
Now here, here's the question: Is there anybody out there who like just missed the voting? You're like, I just, <laughs> I can't believe I just missed it. Dion, I swear, I was gonna do it. <laughs> Epionic side reporter Epionic uh, selling us. Can we remember Edward started this game on a rock? <laughs> yes. It was giving his, Tyler a false sense of uh, superiority. All right, hit focus, and that's an. Expenditure of the focus. Not dead yet. Can, can, can I tell you what I think Tyler's doing? Can, can, can we get do a little 3D what do you, what chess do here, Will? I think, you know, most people would have just scooped right now. I think Tyler is observing how Edward's playing. There's a good chance that, that Edward, you know, Edward's undefeated here. Uh, he's going into the 4-0 round, uh, the round 3-0 oh, after this one, right? Okay, okay. Just, just observe, observe a little bit. There's See he's standard not, flight patterns. Got nothing to lose here. Get, right, get only, a, only things to gain at this point. Yep, you're getting getting some information. See see how he reacts in these in these situations, and uh, if they meet up in the cut again, there could be some information there. Fallen 707 asking the hard questions. Are you ready for the gauntlet fighter and the new rules in like a month? Ready, ecstatic, and prepared. I can't say prepared because we don't we don't have everything. But we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. That's what we know. Oh yeah, the Mandalorians are coming in hot with those new expansions. Mm -hmm. Not just the Mandalorian, but all of all the Mandalorians. Yeah, that Pride of Mandalore. Rebels getting a third three agility ship. Wow. Hit crit crit rolled by Tyler there. So he's going to be the first player. Big sweep. I and just realized, Dylan, we're in Pacific time zone, not mountain. We, what? We, we are? We're all the way on the... Really? Oh. Oh, yeah, we are. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was calculating the flights each time as uh, only moving one time zone. What a fool. That, that's why that's why our flight goes from like you guys are leaving at eight. You have landed at two o'clock in the morning. You're like, what? Oh yeah, no. that's right, that's right. No, oh, thank you. It's like, wow, how how do we get up on a seven hour flight? <laughs> Take it the long way back to Chicago. <laughs> Is he doing a five straight? Oh, no, that's a four straight. Yep. Just he just, he just, he just, just escaping. It's like I so in in this tournament, I would tell you MOV doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just wins. Right. Win, he's, he's, baby, got the, win. he's got the BB, non BB, excuse me, uh, uh, blue. He's, he's doing the job. Give him the glory. <laughs> Everybody else get out and take a victory lap. Test out the boost. That's right. <laughs> Make sure you can get back to base safe. Uh, some somebody uh, is fa fast walker asking, how many uh, uh, how many razor crests are you buying? Um, I will probably scoop up. So I got to do at least three for paint wars because we want we want that uh, to be oh, a ship sure. eventually. Oh yeah. Uh, and probably two for myself. So five. Do you really think you need the second one? I feel like all the upgrades are unique in it. 
The second one, for some weird, I want to play two of them and show why that's a bad stream, you know? Like, just to, just to have it as part, as part of our equipment. I believe they had a... Uh one of them were like a double pip or something so okay there you go like a guild bounty hunter i think might have been a double pip so yeah whoa all right one hit here see if rose can dodge it she can't <laughs> plank takes a shield that's the time right. around Okay, three here. Oh, that's Tyler's focus, that's why. Yep. Uh, single crit. The TIE Fighter lived! The TIE Fighter lived! There it is. <laughs> Gets a way to fight another day. All right, congratulations, Edward, for winning that 189 to 63. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.